Hey guys, Joshua Kadamu here, and today I'm reviewing a huge 56-piece police set. Uh, it's basically like Army Men, that hard plastic. They come with vehicles, a play mat, a helicopter. Really, really cool. So, let's start with the big stuff. First off, there's the play mat, which is kind of our city. we got Central Park and High Street. And this is a lot of detail here. Could use a good numerous encyclopedias to flatten it out, but... One of these buildings is on fire. I've seen this playmat also go with a firefighter set. It would have been nice if this playmat had been more of just a standard city. And then the fire set had like connected with it. But they just have the same basic playmat. Still, it's a nice playmat. It's a playmat you don't see very often. And you know, you could even double for your soldiers. So that's really cool comes with a police jeep, which is really cool. It says police on top, police department, city police. Rolls quite nicely. This top can come off. Got to do it carefully so you don't break the pegs. But the top can come off, and uh, we can put police officers in it, which is fun. This is compatible with a lot of Jeeps of similar sculpts. I just reviewed a set that had the same Jeep, and sure enough, <coughs> this cover was compatible with it. But it's a nice Jeep. Comes with a police car. I've, I've reviewed a similar set as this, same sculpts and things, but uh, not as big, and not with the playman in the car, is a different color, so that's really nice. Helicopter, just kind of a standard blue helicopter with police sticker on it. Rotor spins. This is something that made it pretty unique, was this armored transport. So it says police, definitely some kind of heavy SWAT vehicle. This opens up, which means we can fit police officers in it. And, in case you're worried about, oh no, he fell in and he got stuck, which actually his hand keeps him from doing, the bottom comes off quite nicely. So you could store a whole lot of police officers in there, or you know, repurpose it for your blue army men if you wanted to, which, you know, would be very, very tempting. It comes with two signs. There's a checkpoint sign and a police stop. There are six orange cones, which are pretty decent sized. Like I said, there's 56 pieces total. There's, there's this fence, which fits together. So there's four pieces of that. This play mat has some, like I said, it could use a good flattening. Um, with some books, but it's pretty cool play mat. There are two types of, of police officers. There are 26 blue ones in this pack. You can see the blue ones definitely outnumber the gray ones. And I had eight gray ones. And out of that, there's six unique sculpts. Let's see if we can take a good look at them. Got one communicating on his radio here. They have decent, decent detail. This one's shooting in the air. Stop or I'll shoot. This guy, I don't, you do not want to meet him. <laughs> He's carrying an assault rifle. Whatever is happening, it's more than a fire. It's, this has got to be something right out of a Die Hard movie, these police officers. You know, terrorists have taken over the building and the police are outside, or maybe it's Terminator 2 and the police have shown up and they're just throwing everything they got at the Terminator. I don't know. But these guys are, man, there are more police officers here than anything else. This guy's got a gun. He's already shooting, you know. He's got the loudspeaker. He gave up on that. He's just shooting. This guy looks like he might just be directing traffic. He's probably the most peaceful out of everybody. And this guy's kneeling and shooting. And There's different variations of these that are gray also. The only real drawback of the entire set is that I don't know who these guys are going after. All you get is police officers. Obviously, they could be helping direct traffic for dealing with this giant inferno of a fire! Over here, everything seems to be good. No robbers, no terrorists, no Terminators shooting up Skynet or Cyberdyne systems. No rogue Robocop running around. Just 
lots and lots of heavily armed, ready to shoot, and already shooting police officers. It's a scary place to live. My recommendation is, wherever these guys work, don't move there. Either crime is at a epic level of high, or police brutality is on an equally high. <laughs> Crazy. My recommendation to the toy manufacturers of this set would have been to make some bad guys. You know, and they could have just made them like escape, escaped prisoners or something. Orange jumpsuits or stripes or, you know, something. Something for these guys to go after. Maybe some hostages for them to rescue. <laughs> I mean, I used to play a, uh, a video game where you were a SWAT team and these guys are that heavily armed. Crazy. Still, some very cool pieces, very nice toys. They just need some bad guys to go after. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the toy review. If you like army toys and, you know, other cool toys, please check out our eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info area. It's called Gundam's R Us. We're your favorite arms dealer. We have all kinds of cool toys there. And please like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new video nearly every day. Catch you guys later.